Welcome back to Sonic Superstars with me, Matthew Caddis, aka Puggy. So, we turn to Trip's story as we see that Fang isn't dead, basically. So, yes, Fang the uh, Hunter, not Sniper, is still alive, and that's the basic story for uh, Thing. So, this is kind of an, I guess, an unfinished business sort of uh, deal with uh, Thing. So, yeah. Think of a uh, trip story like Knuckles' story a lot harder, but going through the same levels in the same way. The major difference is I do have access to the full thing. I am not going to go through um, trip story because this is the area where, did I even say it, this is where I gave up on the game, seriously. Namely because of the bosses, I, I had a hard time in love with at least some of the bosses. When I got to the Sky Canyon level, I just gave up, seriously, which I don't normally do with Classic Sonic, but yeah, it was the bosses, you know, as I say, I do not think Sonic Superstars is a bad game in terms of level design. I do think the bosses are, are dumb, really annoyingly though, so yeah, and if you do have all the Chaos Emeralds, it does mean that you'll be collecting medals in the special stages, so yeah. The main thing I do like, think I like about Trip, and I hope she will make an appearance in uh, certainly other Sonic games. Not just stuff like, um, well, we don't have a um, Paris Olympics game, so that one's out. Um, but um, she can actually cling to the walls. Yes, similar to the Spike Wisp in uh, Sonic Colors. You can actually uh, cling to the walls, which honestly is one of the coolest things I've seen uh, happen. And yeah, she is actually playable in normal mode, it's not just in her own mode. This is just like her Knuckles mode. Um, so yeah, so I'll be just showing the first level with uh, Trip. Um, and then move on to the final boss with her. Again, which is... If you saw her when uh, in uh, Golden Capital, in the main story, she turned into a dragon and pretty much destroyed Fang's mech, um, getting rid of any chance the other characters could face it. Well, she will face it as the final boss instead of um, instead of the not death egg robot with the uh, thing with um, the regular characters and whatnot. And yes, the uh, believe it or not, the um, Wall climbing ability is easily one of the coolest things. I've said that before. But yeah, um, likewise with Sonic Mania. Oh, and there's a super form. You can now go, go Golden Dragon in the main thing. And it's somewhat awesome. However, it does somewhat break the game as well. Uh, by the way, likewise with um, Knuckles in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, um, we are having to deal with the... An egg robot as well, yeah. But never mind that. By the way, the super form runs out once you reach the boss, which in this case is the giant whale boss. Yes, yeah, they really want to remind us of Emerald Coast, don't they? Yeah. Why don't just bring us a Sonic Adventure remake and be done with that instead? That would be a lot more fun. Even though this is, this is actually quite fun, to be fair. Not all of the bosses in Sonic Superstars are bad. Certainly, when I first played Bridge Island Zone uh, with Sonic, yeah, he, the, I was not expecting a whale boss, which granted did chase you through the level, which is something that was in Sonic Adventure, but not as a boss! Certainly not as a boss. I will say that now. She also has the spin dash as well, which, yeah. Back with a super form trip is awesome, seriously. If I ever did rebuy a uh, Sonic uh, Superstars, I would want to uh, play his trip. Certainly on the, certainly I still have the file, I think, on my PS5, so yeah. But, um, yeah, the next episode will be the final boss of the trip. Um, um, because I didn't want to face all of the bosses. That's what pissed me off again. Seriously, with the, the boss structure, not the main game. Yes, as I say, Superstars is not Sonic 4, it's a lot better than Sonic 4. Even Episode 2, which I liked a lot more than Episode 1. She also has a double jump as well, I didn't kind of go over that, but she does. She absolutely does, does trip. So yeah, which 
Next gets you over some obstacles a bit easier. It doesn't go as high as Amy's, but uh, you get what you pay for, I guess, with Trip. And you get plenty. Although, because of that, her jump can be a bit stilted at times when you're dealing with chase bits. And don't get me started with the uh, whole boss in the thing. So, yeah, won't be tired if you're ever using the dragon form against one of the regular bosses, because you still have to wait for the other bosses to actually turn into, to, well, basically get hit, so yeah. No, you can't actually damage the... <laughs> yeah. I admit, I, I do think it was a bit more fun than Sonic, but yeah. That's basically Trip's mode. Knuckles mode with a, with a somewhat faster character compared to Knuckles, and I don't know if the puzzles are there. I don't have to look over that, but not in my playthrough. So, yeah. And before we go on, I will also introduce something else that I did do here. Um, so, yeah. Once the act is clear, we can go on to the bonus act, which is available if I think you pick up a thing, which is Axe Fruit. Yes, Axe Fruit, apparently. Um, which basically behaves like a I guess a bonus stage, even though this game had its own bonus stage in a similar way to how um, um, they have the um, things, but basically what you have to do in these levels is um, collect the, um, the f fruit, seemingly. Yes, there are also balloons here, so yeah. I know collect rings, so yeah. Well, that has to do with fruit, there are any, actually, so yeah. Some of the uh, rings are inside the balloons, which you would think would give you a bit of a boost, but no. And in the middle of these target things, don't know what they do other than... Uh, well, they behave in a similar way, I guess, to the ones in the Pinball Carnival, so yeah. And you can also get medals, it seems, as well. Which, of course, go towards you getting uh, your robot character in battle mode, which I'm not going to do, because anyone to play this game with, really. Yes. Uh, but that being said, that is basically the game. Quite a fun one, though. I'd say, oh, or at least with the thing. And so a nice little bonus level on top of the bonus stages already in the game, which mirror the Sonic 1 special stages. But never mind that. At the very end, there is a giant treasure chest containing some fruit, so that was fun. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one for the final boss of Trip's um, playthrough. So I'll see you then. Goodbye!